Hello friends, Metabot here, and last time I was showing off my Tokimeki Memorial Forever with U-Box sets, um, and now I have another Tokimeki Memorial Limited Edition box to show off. Da -da -da -da. Tokimeki Memorial 3, Yakusoku no Anobaso de. Very cool. This is a PlayStation game from uh, 2001. PlayStation 2 game. Uh, this game was actually created because of a fan funded, like fan crowd funded desperation attempt to get more games out of the series. Um, it ended up being a terrible game. <laughs> I like it a lot, but it, it's very low production quality. This isn't cardboard, so it's like plastic. So it's not going to like bend up when I'm sitting here and pulling hard on the ends of these to get these buttons open. But as you see, we have the artwork on the back. It's pink. Pink everywhere. We got the game logo down here in the corner. Let's open it up. And here we got uh, more pink. We have our stuff in here. Let me pull this out. It's kind of, okay, I'm going to set down the foam. There we go, sorry. It's a little rough to get out. And then we have uh, some plastic over this. Lots of packaging. The first thing you'll see here is we have Moegino Watcher. Now, Moegino Watcher is uh, the name of the like website in the game that gives you information on like stuff going on in town. So that's a cool little uh, reference to the game there. But uh, this is actually a magazine with information about the game uh voice actresses and composers and stuff have information in here too we got a little manga it's kind of dumb kind of ugly um wow we have a map of the school grounds that's pretty cool we got some concept art looks like some uh designs for makihara and then we have this uh, section it's called Girls' Private Life. All kinds of information on each character. They each get uh, four pages, I think. Very cool. Whoops. <laughs> Here's the back. Got a big artwork there. Here's the end of it. Looks like uh, here's some collectible books we can get. I have one book, and uh, it's this one at the top. Well, I wonder what the difference is between the complete guide and complete guide book. <laughs> School Life Manual. Seems like the one I have is the best one. So let's uh, set this magazine aside. And uh, here we got the game. This is uh, the standard edition version of the game, I'm pretty sure. If you were just buy the game, this is the uh, version you would get. There's like a hair on it. Got some artwork on the back. Um, I actually have the, like... I'm going to set down the phone again. Yeah. This is my old copy. This is, like, the best hits version. Konami Classics collection or whatever. It's got the same artwork on the back. Um, but different artwork on the front. It's a cool picture of Makihara. This one, I actually like the artwork on the front of the bestest one better, but it doesn't have that ugly border around it, so this is actually nicer. So let's check this out. We got the game disc. I don't know what this is. Just some wadded up like waxy paper. 
We got a game disc. It does have some, uh, this was used, and it does have some uh, sticker residue on the disc, which is very sad. Why was there a sticker on the disc in, in this? I do not know. But, uh, and we have the little survey card thing. Then we have the book, and the book has the cool artwork on it. Now, the manual for this game is not that amazing. It does have blue pages, which is kind of cute. Um, the edges of the pages are blue. Just some really basic information on the game. That's pretty much it. Um, I think the back of the book does have character profiles. I don't know. I give up. <laughs> These things always have character profiles, so. But it doesn't here now that I'm like. There we go. See character profiles. But of course, they don't have the two secret girls uh, in the character profiles. They're actually nowhere to be seen in this entire box set. I don't think they're on the back here either. Nope. So there are two secret characters that weren't even revealed in the special edition box set at all, which is a bit wild. And next we have this, the Tokimeki Memorial 3 special soundtrack. Um, this looks like it was already open, but they left the bottom plastic on, which is nice. I'm going to take this off, so I'm going to set down the phone again. All right, there we go. Special soundtrack. Pretty simple looking. There's no back cover. We open it up. We got a track listing in here. Here's the disc. Very elegant looking. Produced by Kentaro Haneda. Uh, there's an interview of him in the Moe Gino Watcher book. Uh, Tokimeki Memorial 3. And it has an English that they call it at the place of our promise and i always called it at our promised place so this is the official translation of the subtitle at the place of our promise uh, i'll probably uh keep this out and rip it to my computer so i can listen to it because that'll be pretty cool and uh here's the game again set that aside the, well, we need to put the comment card back then the next two things that we're going to look at are really interesting. And this needs to go back on there. I have no idea what this is. I think that's just garbage. <laughs> I don't know why it was in there. Then we got these. These are little bottle cap figurines. Now, if you've never seen these before, it's like a bottle cap that you can put like on your water bottle. Um, you just kind of stick it on there. But it's got a figurine on top. Now, I remember they made these for Final Fantasy IX. There were some cool little bottle cap figurines. Um, my friend Isneb is streaming Resident Evil 4. And in the game, you collect bottle cap figurines, <laughs> which I thought was really weird. But uh, very cool. So we got Makihara here. Then we got uh, Chitose. I don't remember her family name. She's my least favorite character. I like how like in their hair. And says, man, she doesn't want to focus. I like how in their hair, instead of, like, letting the light naturally, like, glisten off the hair, they put these little white lines in <laughs> everywhere to show the, like, light reflection. That's funny. And we got Kawai. She's my favorite. I can't hold the phone steady enough for it to focus on these. There we go. Kawai Rika. She had my favorite story in the game. I actually cried 
playing her story, <laughs> which I did not expect to ever cry at Tokimaki Memorial. But I did. And we have Oda. Very cool. I have an actual, another figurine of Oda. My fingers are getting in the way, sorry. <laughs> Maybe that's why I can't focus on anything. Then we have Tachibana. Whoops. And lastly, we have Shinjo. There's no figurines for the two secret girls. Just the six main girls. And then, if you want to keep them on your water bottle, we also have this water bottle cozy thing. <laughs> Super weird. It says Tokyo Memorial 3 at the place of our promise. With the copyright on it. That's about all it is. The golden thingy i think you're supposed to stick your water bottle down in there and it's got like a strap and like maybe you can put your ds in here that would be pretty cool i mean this is for playstation 2 so i'm pretty sure that's what this is supposed to be and then maybe you can hook it onto your belt I don't know. It's got so many straps and stuff. I, it seems like it would be multi-purpose, but I think it's supposed to be for water bottles because there's like a water bottle theme going on here. Yeah, so that's the uh, Tokimaki Memorial 3 limited edition box set. We have lots of cool stuff in here. And then I also wanted to show off another Tokimeki Memorial 3 thing uh, that we saw the little advertisement for. These guys are going to fall down. I'm sorry, Bison and Luma. But we have the Tokimeki Memorial 3 official guide. This one says, oh, the official guide series. This is the official guide book. Very, very cool. This is a really cool book. The first half of the book is full color. All kinds of information about anything you could possibly think of in the game. Um, In-depth explanation of all the game systems. How to get, uh, oh yes, the clothing system. Including all of their like stats. And how to utilize the clothing system. Which I really need to actually go in and read. Um information on every girl and their relationships and uh all the like events that you can get with them and stuff like that everything 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 then the last half of the book is just raw data importantly let's see if we can get to where here we go every single date And everything you can say in response. And how well that response affects your relationship. Every single one for every girl. And we do have some uh, concept art. Uh, thrown in there, which is cool. You'll see those sometimes. Here's all the different characters. It's annoying how they all look the same. Um, but that's part of this game's low production value. <laughs> uh, oh, who is that? I think it's Tachimana. But I don't see the back of her hair, her like long ponytail. Ah, there it is. Oh, I see the bow now. It's hard because I'm looking through my phone. So <laughs> this is a very cool book. Very awesome. So much information. It's like 500 pages. Super thick. Very cool. 
And so that's my Tokimeki Memorial 3 collection. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I do have a figure of Oda somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I do have a figurine of her that I got out of a like grab bag thing at an anime convention. Um, that was before I even played the game. And I was just like, what is this? And uh, now it's one of my favorite games. And I have a cool figurine of her. That's Oda right there. I'm sorry for my fingernails being kind of long. This one I like bit off earlier. And then these ones are long. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next up. I gotta find and get me a copy out of the Togemaki Memorial 2 Limited Edition. It's like the least interesting of the three. Surprisingly, as it's the most popular game in the series. And then Togemaki Memorial 4 never got one. And then I don't really know what there is on the girls' side ones. Um, I think the DS editions did get some uh, special box sets or something, but I haven't looked into those. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.